from Brazil, a student of Capoeira, Christy Montero! So, what is the lore behind Christy, or how did Christy make it into Tekken in the Tekken series? So, basically, Christy is the granddaughter of a legendary Capoeira master, and when this legendary Capoeira master, her grandfather, uh, was basically put into prison, um, he he asked Eddie to do him a favor of teaching Christy Capoeira, and then Eddie basically promised him that he would teach her, and within a year or two. Christy uh, learned the skill of capoeira and became a bona fide or full-fledged capoeira practitioner. So imagine now that we have a season 4, right? Imagine we have a season 4 and one of the characters that are coming back in Tekken, if, if, if one of the characters that are highly requested characters that are coming back in Tekken 7 is Christy. So do we actually need Christy in Tekken 7? Let's talk about that. So. Uh, what I've seen from Harada's Twitter whenever he posts a new, new tweet about a character or um, or like character patches or anything like that, people highly mo people mostly bug him and ask him about stuff like we need Christy back, we need Jude back. But most of it was about Christy. So do we actually need Christy? But most of you guys are gonna hate me about this. But I don't think Christy is a much needed character in Tekken Seven because she serves as a dupe or duplicate for. Um, Eddie. So basically, it's the same fighting style, it's the same play style, nothing changes, I think, apart from one grab or two, which he had in previous seconds, but apart from that, nothing changed. And I think it would be a waste of a character slot, so maybe introduce a different character like Jun. Uh, Jun, is, Jun like for example, Jun or Unknown. So basically, get a mixture of Jun and Unknown and make a hybrid of both of them, and like how they made with Safina. Like, uh, Azazel gave Azazel's hand to Zafina and she kind of has different moves and some different moves to her and uh, So that June doesn't be as same as Asuka where both of them practice the Kazama style So that's a story for a different day, but we're talking about Christy So what I'm talking about Christy is that we do not need a new Capoeira character in Tekken That would be a waste of slot it would be basically like Kuma and Panda. I'm making a lot of comparisons just because I want you guys to know what I'm talking about. But okay, so if they really had to bring, bring back uh, Christy back in Tekken 7, at least give Christy different moves and not make her the same as Eddie. So give Christy different moves as like, mo completely revamp her moveset, Kapura moveset, give her a different Kapura moveset or don't change her fighting style. That would basically ruin the character of how she is. But just make her different in a way that she doesn't feel like she's just a duplicate or a palette swap for Eddie and yeah the, if, if they if they had to bring Tekken 7 that's one way they, that they should implement Christy back in Tekken 7 I don't know what you guys think but if you guys agree with this video or if you don't agree with this video let me know in the comments below that being said you guys are awesome stay safe peace Legends never die when the world is calling